Well, welcome once again to the Firearm Show. Thanks for joining, Chad. Thank you, Kerry. Today we have an oddball of a gun here. Uh, <laughs> I don't really know what much to say about it because I can't find much information on it, actually. It's a Burgo, made in Germany, revolver, double action, shoots 22 long rifle. Well, thank you for watching because that's <laughs> all I know about this thing. Um, pick this up at um, our favorite gun shop, Rocky Mountain Guns and Ammo in Parker. Uh, it was sitting there in the shelf. I've been looking for a double action revolver for my uh, pistol classes so I could have a demo piece, but everything I could find was too expensive just for a demo piece. Mm -hmm. Saw this sitting there, 100 bucks included the holster. Can't go wrong. Couldn't pass it up. No. What do you think of it? I actually really like it. It, it has a nice weight to it. A little heavy, but a little, uh, nice weight to it. Shot true enough. I mean, what more to be said? <laughs> it was a little gummed up when we got it. That it was. Uh, it needed a, a really good scrubbing. I took it all down, scrubbed it with some nice Hoppies number no. 9. Mm. Finished it off with some Break, three, break Free. Hard to go wrong. Oh, I love Break Free. Now it's, it, it is just clean as can be. Uh, I've taken it to the range. Well, well, we took it out out to Bennett. We've had a number of people shoot it. They all liked it. I've had my daughter, who hates guns, she shot it today. Not too shabby. Um, she didn't like the the hard pull on it for the double action, but the single action was fine. And uh, you know, it's just a neat little clinker. Um, we do know that it's made in Germany because it says that's kind of made, a made in Germany. <laughs> The, the Burgo logo on the side says made in Germany. So we kind of deduced that it was made in Germany. <laughs> <laughs> but I cannot find much information on this thing, which is really surprising. Um, our best guess is that it was manufactured sometime around 1960 to 65. So guns about 48 years old. I know that because that's how old I am. <laughs> <laughs> and... Um, that's really all we can say. Um, the fit and finish is, is pretty good. It, this one does show, you know, somewhere, not too bad. But for something that you're able to pick up for a hundred bucks with a holster, I, I just couldn't pass it up. Wow. And I, now, having done it, I'm glad I did. Mm -hmm. uh, what do you think about using a, a double action versus the single action? Like the uh, Kiapa that we've had. I mean, the Kiapa was a nice shooter too, but I, I, I don't know. If it was uh, kind of the old uh, cowboy guns, it'd have to be a single. <laughs> but on anything else, I like double. Now, what's interesting is that Kiapa is a modern gun styled after the 1873. Mm -hmm. This is a 50-year-old gun. So there, there are some differences in the feel. Uh, it This feels like an older piece for some reason. Yeah, especially in the weight. I think that's really what it is. That longer barrel, the heavy frame, the grips and everything. It just has this certain feel to it that's hard to describe. It really is because it's completely different than the Kiapa. But again, I mean, if, if you're walking around one of the gun shows and you see one of these for $100... Don't let the price fool you. I mean, it, it's a true shooter. Yeah. I mean, I would say, you know, do your standard checks. Make sure it's nice and tight. Make sure that you can't, you know, that the, the gaps are, are all good. But this one checked out really well. I could not pass it up. And boy, am I glad I did because my wife just will not notice $100 coming missing. So <laughs> <laughs> in, in terms of getting a really good deal, I mean, and this holster, I mean, I, I was really surprised at the, you know, this thing has probably been sitting in this thing for its entire life. So it's kept this gun in really good shape. This just flips right on your belt. And, uh, you know, you've got yourself a nice little plinker when you're out and about. And at the range, it is just a fun, fun little plinker. I, I love 22 at the indoor range. You know, it's not loud. You, you can just sit there all day just plinking away. Mm -hmm. Perfect gun for that. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, especially with the price of 22 finally coming down. Absolutely. And you don't need high velocity rounds in this. You can get no. the cheapest ammo possible. The white box, generic bullet on the side, whatever. It'll still fire this thing. Yep, and we did. <laughs> <laughs> we sure did. We put it to the test with a bunch of different rounds. So, 
if you happen to know something about the company Burgo, please let us know because I can't find anything. What I can tell you though, is if you happen to run across one of these in your local store, don't turn away. No. If you can get it for a good price, it's worth getting. I agree. Well, thanks for watching. We'll catch you next time. Take care.